backyard with half a can of lighter fluid and no eyebrows between the months of end of May through August. We're gonna show you how a grill pan changes everything you ever knew about grilling. And we have done a lot of different grill pans with the folks at Cook's Essentials. Why? Because of the number one brand name of cookware here at QVC. And we've brought you some that have the, the ridges so you get the, the actual grill marks. We brought you grill pans that are completely flat so it works like a griddle. We brought you grill pans that will drain fat away from the food. But the fact of the matter is, you want it all. So what we've done for the very first time is a seven piece grill pan set in a whole bunch of decorator colors that allows you to do everything that individual grill pans used to be able to do. And it really truly will be the way to get the most out of your barbecue grill. We've got colors like red, we've got platinum, we have green, we've got the purple. We then also offer, <laughs> Meredith is laughing. We then also have, uh, are you calling it gold or champagne? Then we've got the, uh, the blue and then we have the black. Now the black and the red were the most popular at midnight and they don't show up really well outside because we've got a big canopy over us. But you're going to get all the grill inserts that make it more fun than ever before. Absolutely, Dan. How are you? I'm great. How are you? This, this is Meredith Lawrence. She is the blue jean chef. Now, first of all, she is absolutely a gourmet chef, but she knows how to live. <laughs> and out in the backyard when you've got the grill fired up, there has become this new gourmet with the grill. Oh. It has become the focal point of summertime food. And we can do breakfast, lunch, dinner, hors d'oeuvres, party snacks, and, and pizzas. You know, last night one, on of our, one of our callers said, you can do anything and everything on this pan. And it's true because you can customize how you're going to cook. And it really makes your outdoor barbecue into an outdoor kitchen. No longer yeah. do you need to run inside and get a skillet and saute up the mushrooms to go with your burgers. Because you've got it right here on the griddle. You don't have to cook the bacon and worry about the fat going into the barbecue. You've got it here on your griddle. And even when you're putting some cheese on the burgers, you don't have to worry if it spills over to the side because that's a nonstick surface that will wipe clean without any problems. So life is made easy by this pan and your cooking becomes more versatile. And you can cook healthier. You know, if you used to think about the way you used to grill years ago, uh, my dad was really creative. He used to do both hot dogs and him. <laughs> okay. He was a master. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And every once in a while we might throw a steak on the grill. But now we can do lobster tails. Right. And I'm not a big fan of vegetables, but when you grill vegetables, they're great. I am a fan of corn because I am from Indiana. Yes. It's and the culture, grapes were always too wide. Corn always fell through. Well, absolutely. You wouldn't even try it, right? And what I used to do was but actually take this. grilled corn is amazing. Oh, it's delicious. I used to take this and wrap it in aluminum foil in order to do this kind of thing. But that's not a good cooking surface either. That's right. a reactive material. So being able to do this, like the potatoes, the corn, the peppers, whatever you have, even cherry tomatoes that blister so beautifully on the grill, you uh -huh. can do that here too. And then I just love the whole burger thing. We've got six quarter pounders here. You can do 12 quarter pounders total but you know what there's more you said it before this. okay I'm sorry bacon that is the divine swan it really is and to have it on the grill is wonderful but you see then you can do so much more because with that you can actually go ahead and make some pancakes now right on the grill and I don't know why grilling always tastes better is that just a guy thing? Is that the Neanderthal that is still in every man's DNA? No, I don't think so. I think, you see, there I am putting it in a bit Look of a ring this. mold there to cook my egg. That's gonna cook on there. And then you know what I can do on this side? I can go ahead and toast some English muffins up on the perforated side, get those nice and toasty, make myself a nice egg sandwich with the bacon that I cooked. You can do all of this on this pan. If there's any flame from below, the pan is protecting your food. So your food right. is going to survive. And, the um, pan and I wasn't kidding. My dad had no eyebrows <laughs> and no hair on his arms. But he was good looking. From Memorial, well, <laughs> for a man with no eyebrows and no hair on his arms, uh, from between Memorial Day and the end of the summer. Yeah. Because it was all about flare up. So we're going to show you the different pants. You get how many different pan inserts? So you get six inserts. So you can really customize. You want to have a full griddle, you get two of the griddle plates. Perfect. You want to have the perforated pan here where I'm doing the bread, so you can have two of those as and well. And what's the perforated pan for? The one with the little holes in it? Well, it's really good for doing things that are going to fall through the cracks, like these corn. You can see it's cooking up so quickly. Oh, You're good. getting that great flavor from the grill, but nothing's falling through the cracks. So good for those okay. kind of things. And then you're getting two of the grill pans as well. Here, perfect for shrimp. Shrimp is something else that you either have to skewer 
or you have to, um, you know, put it into a, a pan of some kind here. No more skewering. It doesn't fall through the cracks. I can go ahead and put marinated shrimp on here. Okay. I'm making actually a little like a shrimp po' boys Ooh, slash shrimp rolls. And then I'm going to so uh, grill you're gonna off that. You're going to get two of these, too. and these are solid. These become your griddle pans. These are the ones that give you those wonderful grill lines. Exactly. I used to tell people those grill lines always make food taste better. Oh, even they do. You, even if you have to spray paint them onto the food. <laughs> and then how many of the perforated do you, you get? You get two of those. Okay. So you can make one big perforated, one big grill, one big griddle, or mix and match them up. Do whatever it is you need to do. Now, I'll tell you a side benefit. These are made of carbon steel. Right. They heat up fast and they heat up well. And they're so durable, so, so durable. You, you'll never have to replace them. But it also means that you don't have to fire up that barbecue grill to its hottest extremes. You're actually using the heat to a much more effective manner. So you can actually turn the propane down. That saves you gas. Exactly, it's true. Carbon steel, so what you're going to do is you're going to preheat your barbecue. You're going to pick your plates, and then you preheat your pan. It takes only two to three minutes. That's it. I'm telling you that carbon steel heats up so fast and conducts the heat so nicely that everything cooks beautifully. You, you young lady, have been tong stingy. Tong stingy with yes. you. Are we ready to flip that over? We'll give it a try and see. Now, by the way, how many times have you done chicken on the grill when it sticks? Look at that. Oh, I could have let it go a little longer for more grill. That's marks. okay. That's all right. Uh, but yes, novice. you're absolutely right. Chicken, fish, they all stick on the grill. But when you have a nonstick surface to work with, and this is a PFOA free nonstick surface. Okay. So we don't have to worry about anything there. Everything works easily. And of course, when you clean it up, just put, wipe it out. Give it a quick a rinse and sponge in the sink. Then it is dishwasher safe. This, this turns your grill into an outdoor kitchen. Exactly. It makes the experience more fun. It gives you much better food. I know food in the summertime is the best food in the world. Right now, it's early enough in the day where you can get the colors of your choice. But that is going to change. So on these pans, you're going to get two of the griddle pans. You're going to get two of the pans that give you, again, here they are. You're going to get two of them that give you the grill marks and then two of the perforated and then your favorite color for the frame. And those colors for the frames, again, we've got red, we have champagne, We've got green. We then also have the purple. Platinum. Huh? The second one was platinum. Platinum. What I call it? Champagne? champagne. Darn it. I know it's on your mind. And I know champagne. <laughs> I bet you do. Uh, and then we also have the blue and the black. Exactly. And here's that pan. And here's how you can customize them so easily. They just simply pop out. And then you replace it with whatever grill insert that you want. So here we've got a perforated and a grill. Here's another little tip for you that I'll show you. Put these notches in the center of the pan. That makes it a lot easier with tongs to go in and get them out. Okay. Yeah, so really easy. And, and again, just so versatile, right? Now you can customize what you're doing based on what it is you're cooking. Right? You create your kitchen. Every time you go to the grill, you create your kitchen. I'm not telling you what pan to use. You decide they what pan to use. They get to choose. They get to choose. And it's, this has just never been done before. It's a brilliant idea. It really is brilliant. But this is, Great. I'll be honest, this is what I kind of expect from Cook's Essential. Well, thank you very much. <gasps> What do you, are you surf or are you turf? Huh? I am. Uh, You're turf. Yeah, I'm turf. <laughs> okay. But you I grew up in Indiana where we had the catch of the week. Not exactly fresh. <laughs> it was a two day drive to the beach. <laughs> well, here you go. See, now you can do these kind of things. You can do shrimp on one side. We've got our steak cooking on the other. Look at the great browning that we're getting there. They're easy to do, easy to, I'm not worried about That's any of that beautiful. grease dripping down because they're completely covered. Yeah, no flare up. No flare up at all. Now uh, here's- You it, can do stir fry. I'm eating more fish than I've ever eaten before. Okay. Because my wife is teaching me to eat healthier. And I, I absolutely hated cooking fish on the grill because oh. it always stuck. Right. Or you'd lay the tin foil out. And again, tin foil is not the best cooking mm. surface. No, it's not. But look at this shrimp. The shrimp is flipping around and cooking so fast, getting that great smoky flavor through that perforated pan. I love shrimp. You know, they have that um, natural I'm done mechanism, which is they the turn pink. Yeah. yeah, I love that. I wish all food did that. <laughs> so what's that green stuff? Well, this is kale. It might so be, that's what kale it is. It might be new to you, yes. But no, you know, kale, kale is the number one superfood. Is it? Everybody is talking about kale. But I've never thought about kale on the grill. Well, kale on the grill is so fast and easy. I mean, if you, maybe you've been putting kale into your morning shake or something like that, but you haven't actually been cooking it because kale it takes a little while to break down. You have to braise it. But okay. now you can put it on the grill. I'm throwing some grapes in there. This is a really beautiful, healthy dinner that you now, don't do you see put on the, the grill. Do you put the kales in with the grapes so that you can actually eat the kale? 
<laughs> I love kale, so I don't need convincing. My wife. But look at the grapes are blistering right away. The kale is wilting right away. Just toss it with a little bit of oil, and then our fish is cooking over there or here. Stir I know, fry. Well, oh, stir fry, absolutely, you could do. But we can do quesadillas oh. or fajitas as well. Right. The, so you get to toast your tortillas on the griddle side. Here we're actually cooking our vegetables and our, our meat on another griddle side. So it's not just hamburgers and hot dogs it's not anymore. Just hamburgers and hot dogs anymore at all. No way. And I, listen, grills have become expensive. I I went to the the Home Depot store and I saw their new display of grills, and they're huge. They you are. You look at them and you go, "What are you going to barbecue a yak?" <laughs> So this Never is know. what these new grills are all about, is being able to play and have fun and experiment. So you've got grilled cheese here, and what do we have here? Grilled um, peanut butter and bacon. Good. Are you okay? Elvis, we're still no, with I us. know, I know. He is in spirit, right? He is. But uh, so the grilling, grilled cheese are beautiful in here. That griddle is just like having a big griddle at home, you know, in your kitchen. Right. But you can do it right here, and it's nice and flat. It's rectangular, so it makes sense for How square easy sandwiches. Is Good. Clean up is easy, right? So if you Wonderful. if you've gone really crazy on your pan, you're gonna want to just put it in the sink and give it a sponge, okay. uh, a scrub. But right. then it goes right into the dishwasher when you're finished. So Even better. All these things you can do makes life so easy and makes life more interesting. Because you're right, you know, your dad did the hot dogs and the hamburgers, and that was it. And that was it. So and, and now we're talking about great meals because that outdoor, that that fire, that flame, it adds flavor to food that you just can't do inside without probably calling the fire department. <laughs> if you did it inside, you've done something wrong, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. So <laughs> lots of things you can do, and it's just more fun. It's fun can to I? do. Should sure. I try? If you run to you. Is it hot? No, no, it's good. If he sears his mouth. Oh, Meredith, now I'm mad at you. Why, because now you like a vegetable? Yeah, now I actually <laughs> like kale. <laughs> Let's go back and show everybody. That's these. really good. Well, thank you. I don't want to. I don't want to overindulge. Well, of course, of course not. Give I don't want to lose too much weight at one time. No one will recognize me. Okay, so you get all six of the plates. You're going to get two of the griddle plates. You're going to get two of them that have that wonderful striation, so you get the grill marks, and then the perforated. But then you also get the beautiful exterior, and you can mix and match. Oh, French fries on the grill! Oh, I know. I'm looking after you in a second. Don't you worry. I know you like all your vegetables, and so I thought potato might be, you know, your favorite ever. Pot potato does. Yep. I think of it as a fruit because <laughs> that way I can say I don't eat vegetables. Oh my gosh! Here we go. Here's what you have you hear your pan. Now, one of the reasons I like the frame so much is because you can carry everything away at one time. You can take it off the grill. Things are starting to get a little out of control. All right. Bang! You grab it. You've got control again. But you can mix and match things if, as you want. So if you want all the grill surface, you can do all the grill surface. If you want to have a grill and a griddle, you want to do your hamburgers and you want to do the, the toppings for it, go ahead and use your Mary, griddle plate. Th this seems like such common sense, but this is this has never been done before. Well, no, we haven't allowed people to customize. I don't know why. I think we've been rather selfish, but now we're giving back. That's <laughs> true. You it's really not just about you and me. <laughs> no, it should be, but okay. not as <laughs> always. <laughs> so, so you get exactly what you want in the meal, and they are beautiful pans. Color choices again. I'm going to get them right. Okay, Ready? Good, good. Go for it. Red. Yes. The next one is platinum. Now, the one below that is green. Mm -hmm. The one below that, then, that's a gorgeous color. This is the one that we're uh, calling, what are we calling it? Purple. purple. <laughs> I, I struggle with colors. I've got to point Stressful. them out. This is the champagne. Then we've got the blue, and then we've got the black. Perfect. Absolutely right. You know, and you think about it. French fries have been left out of the barbecue. Well, but that's the thing, right? Your dad's making hamburgers and hot dogs. What goes best with hamburgers and hot dogs? Beer. Uh, French fries. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> French fries. But here, like, take a look at this. This is our snack <gasps> grill. So we've wings. got wings. Wings on the grill. Wings on the grill. And now, you know, because I have a nonstick surface there, I'm not worried about putting barbecue sauce onto my wings on the barbecue because. Did, did you do, you did grilled watermelon. Grilled what? Well, you said we could do breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I said and but dessert. I've, but I've never, I've never even. Oh, that's grilled pound cake. Pound cake, <gasps> pineapple, and and uh, and watermelon. Absolutely, it's delicious on the grill. And here are those fries that go with, um, you know, all the things that we do. Love Without a to drop grill. of oil. Right. Just so, grilled. Are those hot? Are those edible? Yes. Yeah. She loves to feed me lava. <laughs> Now, we hand wash them. They can go in the dishwasher, but hand wash them. And we're talking now about the full experience of really enjoying 
your meal. Well, exactly. Now, you told me you were going to do a pizza. Well, and here's how I do a pizza the on grill. the grill. You take your pizza dough and you put it on the perforated side until it's toasty on one side. Then you turn it over. You put your tomato sauce on, or, right. or not, depending if you're making a red pizza or a white pizza. And then you have on the other side, on the I've used double perforated here, I've got some vegetables and some sausage. So I can go ahead and put my onions and peppers and sausage on the grill. That's beautiful. Put the cheese on top, close that lid so it becomes more of an oven again, and then make my pizza without having turned on my oven inside the house, because I love pizza, but when you make it in your oven inside the house, it heats the house up in the summertime and you right. don't want that. Well, you know what I was running into? I was running into the exact same scenario that I think every mom who has to do a lot of cooking for her family runs into, but I was running into it out in the backyard where mom was feeling it in the kitchen. I was getting sick and tired of cooking the same thing over and over and yeah. over again yeah. on the grill. Well, you know, we get excited to, be, to do our grilling stuff at the beginning of the summer, and then by the time the end of the summer comes along, we're like, oh, right, grilling again? You know, uh, I can't, yeah, so. chicken on the grill. So now you change it up. You'll never be bored again. We're going to go off and say hello. It's Jan out in Illinois. Jan, what do you think of this idea? Oh, I think it's great. Yeah. I so, think it's great. I'm looking forward to getting it and being able to cook some burgers and some steaks and walk away from the grill for a minute and not turn around and have them on fire. Right, exactly, yeah, yes. yes. It got, allows you, we have more control. We know what we're doing more in our indoor kitchens. And then summertime comes and, it be, and we, we lose that control. Suddenly we, we're, I don't know, we're crazy cooks outside. Uh, exactly. And the cleanup is gonna be easy. We've never done anything like this. And it, it is about fun. Grilling is fun. Food. Well, it is. You're outside. You're having a good time. Usually there are people over. Look at that. This is a little shrimp po' boy. I mean, you could do something like this too, Jen. What do you oh, think? Oh yeah, I, I'm watching you cook all that good stuff this morning, and can't wait to get my pants. You know what's fun about these pants is that you just let your imagination go, and right. you do whatever it is you think would be cool. So I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this. Oh, I think so too. I'm so Jan, thrilled. I, I, listen, Meredith is the she's the blue jeans chef. She is the gourmet. So she knows how to cook a lot of things on the grill. I tried a lot of things. There's one thing you don't want to try to cook on your grill. Uh-oh. Ice cream. Just trust me on that. <laughs> He's always the joker. Didn't Jay. work. Always oh, yeah. the joker. Didn't work. Your pan is oh, on yeah. its way. We'll have it to you in Illinois. You'll be barbecuing maybe even as early as this weekend. Oh, I certainly hope so. Thank you. Oh, thanks for speaking with me. Enjoy. All right, Bye -bye. thank you. Bye-bye, Dan. Bye -bye. So you pick out the color that you want because right now at this point of the day, we can offer all the different colors. Already, just in this presentation alone, we've had over 3,000 that have been ordered. Rachel, you want to come in? Yeah, I was going to eat something. Right, hey. You're going to be proud of me. Anything. I am a witness. I want a French fry. I ate kale. You he ate did. kale? I did. He did. I did. Shocking. Wow. Look, and then we have another green thing. Oh, another green thing. I love it. Well, you said, uh, yeah, this is, you know, just something simple and fun to do. Mm -hmm. Make your Caesar salad, a grilled nice. Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. Throw a some grilled, croutons on. See, I would do that. A I want bit the of grilled dressing. watermelon. Yes, the grilled watermelon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's always fun, too, you know, and, and when you actually apply a little heat to fruit, it really brings out the sweetness in them and the flavor of them, so. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty. And then you go like this and you call it dinner. Oh, see. That's beautiful. All Love right. it. Okay. I'm Love grabbing a piece deal. of watermelon, grilled watermelon. May I? <laughs> yeah, you go for it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Pretty good? Yes. Mm. I would never have Thank thought you. about that. It's okay. <laughs> okay, let me run through the colors again. Sure. All right. The way it works, it, never before have we been able to give you a choice. We've done grilling pans. We've sold tens of thousands of Cookies Essentials grilling pans. But now, with the interchangeable plates, if I want perforation, I've got it. If I want the grill pan, pan with the grill marks, perfect. If I want to go with the griddle, I can do that as well. Your color choices are red, platinum, green, purple, champagne, blue, or black. Pretty impressive, huh? Very nice. Yeah, By the end impressive. of the presentation, you got it perfect. Yeah, well, it takes me a while. <laughs> When are you coming back? When are you going to be back on? You know what? I've got a full hour of Cook's Essentials products right at 10 o'clock. That with Carolyn is Gracie. beautiful. Meredith.